Approximately one mile southwest of Boyds, Maryland at 19501 White Ground Road is the Edward U. Taylor School. Built in 1952, the modern movement-influenced building was home to black elementary schoolers at a time when Montgomery County used legally sanctioned racial segregation to prohibit black children from attending white schools. Two years after the Taylor School was constructed, the United States Supreme Court's ruling in Brown versus the Board of Education struck down the separate but equal doctrine in 1954, forcing Montgomery County Public Schools to end its system of racial segregation. Seven years later, in 1961, the Taylor School became one of the last county schools to desegregate and was the only segregated black elementary school to retain its original function. The Edward U. Taylor Elementary School serves as a reminder of segregated life in the 20th century and desegregation of public education in Montgomery County. Local black teachers, parents, and advocates fought against injustice to improve educational environments for black school children during segregation. Today, the Taylor School continues to serve the students of Montgomery County as the Taylor Science Center for processing and storage of science kits for Montgomery County Public Schools. These are the stories of some of the students who walked the halls of the Taylor School and its legacy on their lives. So when we came here, all of us were family. Everybody was family. If I didn't know them, when they first got here, I knew them by the end of the day because we were just community. It was a major part of my life from the time I learned to walk and play and be outside with family. It was a major part of my life in elementary, for my elementary age. This is where we all, they say it takes a village to raise a child. And that's exactly what this was. Taylor was the only thing that we really had, you know, that helped us kind of emerge from ourselves and that's where we had fun you know um, like I said we didn't have access to swimming pools or the closest theater and we didn't go there was Rockville um, we couldn't afford it actually um, <clears throat> and uh, this was the only entertainment that we had it's my foundation, but it's foundation for a lot of people in Montgomery County. Um, a lot of people have gone on now, however, they've left their mark, they've left their stamp, and it was just a great environment to grow up in. I, I used to just come to volunteer, go outside, play with the children, and then the, the uh, uh, cafeteria manager, she said, well, why don't you come on over and work for me? Oh, okay. And I came over and I started to working in the cafeteria, feeding the children, or preparing, you know, preparing their meals. And it was very rewarding to me. As a hallmark of the era of du jour racial segregation, the Taylor School captures the struggle and perseverance of the county's black communities as they fought for equal rights during the segregation and integration of the public school system. The story of this once segregated public school can teach future generations about an important chapter in county history as an addition to Montgomery County's master plan for historic preservation.